Oh, student wengine nikipata wamefunza during the day nikienda night tunafanya prep kwa nisaidia ku discuss. So, Mchana uko pale kwa gate? Eh, niko kwa gate. Haya. Kifika jioni unakimbia class. Nakimbia class kutoka saa mbili hadi nimepikia mtoi na muacha kwa nyumba mimi nakimbia wow. class na kufungia na kuja. <laughs> so during the day ni security guard at night ni students. Ni aje imekuwa security guard yako kwa hii training. Trainiwa na health workers na au, nurses. Au au comes This is the what is my this is a waste of of amref. This is a waste of resources for amref. Amref walikuwa wamekuja specific to train the health workers. Mm-hmm. And right now we have a security guard in our meeting. Tikanta hapa. So utolewe huyo security guard atolewe nje nitafutia the worker mwingine. Nikamuliza nini? Haniambia I'm nominating you for a global award. Wow. Tare I think tare moja ndio ndio ni ya simu ananiambia jeni you know what you have won ai mimi nilisikia kama naweza ingia ndani ya simu nikae huko when Jen Kubai was forced to drop out of school by her parents who were trying to make her undergo FGM and later get married she managed to run away from home and later became a house girl and a security guard but her humble beginnings did not stop her from becoming who she is today working in a theater my name is Anya Thira and of course this is Inspire Kenya we here to get her story how she struggled getting where she is and despite all odds making it sana kwa kutukaribisha huko Rongai. Na unajua watu wengi wanadhanini Rongai ya, ya Nairobi. Hebu ambie ni Rongai ya wapi kwanza? <laughs> Karibu sana hapa Rongai ya Nakuru. Mm-hmm. Kwa hospitali ya Sister Mazodi. Mm-hmm. Hospital ya Masisters of the Evangelist. Mimi the Evangelist. Karibu sana mjisikie mmefika nyumbani. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Unajua funny thing mimi ni mzaliwa wa huko. Wow. Yes, ni kwanza mimi shule fulani hapo inaitwa Kichea Primary. Iko tu somewhere around hapa si mbali. Na unaijua iko tu hapo si hospitali hapa. Mhm. Yeah. Na asante sana kwa kutukaribisha sisi watu watuko. Mm-hmm. We really appreciate that, si ndio? Hebu yeah. introduce ndio watu wakujue vizuri wajue who is Jen. Kwa majina I'm Jen Kagweri Kubai. Eh Jen Kagweri Kubai from Meru, Meru County. Mhm. Igembe North eh, from Mutwati amina village code mutuambo village mm-hmm. i'm from a family of six being the third born mm-hmm. of mr and mrs xalesias kubai eh na mam regina kangere eh and i'm proud to from that village okay tuambia little bit about your childhood like ulisomea wapi uliko unaenda shule uh, ep na i started my primary school mu Branjiro primary school mhm nikasoma mpaka class 6 so from there nikaachana na shule kwa nini uliachana na shule <laughs> ni hali ya maisha tu najua kisha kisha huko mkosangi mashinda mhm maskini tu hapa na pale mhm wazazi wako wa stable hivyo sasa unaona tuko wengi bado seats alafu kuna hiyo miaka ya watu wanafika anga huko hiyo wakati na kuanga tu ni kupata sasa kutaidiwa naenda kuoleka being a gaucher actually in those remote areas na kuanga challenge mm-hmm. for most of us maybe my classmates are you wako na watoto mimi wengi watano hivi so so hapo ndio nilipata hiyo challenge nikaona sasa venye my mom am introduce na amesema kama neighbors wote wanafanywa hivyo FGM lazima hata sisi tutakuwa tu hapo. Walikuwa wamekupangia hiyo wewe na your siblings ya. Yeah. Okay. So ah mimi nilifika sababu sasa hiyo maisha si kuwa nataka actually nilikuwa mtoto wa kanisa sasa school kuimba. So mimi in that knowledge hiyo kwa general kidogo kidogo. Mhm. Si kuwa nimefurahi hiyo maneno sababu hata nilikuwa wengine wenye washapitia mambo ya utaini kutairiwa bado walikuwa wanasema ni chungu. Yeah. Zile watu ile vitu wanapitia huko. Hey, mimi nikakuwa ninaoopa tu sana. Mm-hmm. 
So vinyo hiyo wakati ilifika ikavindi mi sasa ni nitoroke. So nilienda tu misi. Mm-hmm. Siku wana pesa but nilienda tu misi. Nikatoka nyumbani nikaenda kwa kanisa. I think I spent, I think two nights there in the church. Dio, in the morning, hata priest ya kujua kama nimelala tu kwa mbati. In the morning nikaenda tu nikamuambia. Mm-hmm. Uh, uyo priest ya liku wanga mba hivene ya naito Father Kaimenye. Nikamuelezea nimetaroka ni nyumbani. Mm-hmm. Maisha imekuwa ngumu na staki kufanyiwa hivyo wa sichano wanafanyiwa. Yeah. So hakanyambi una plani, muna mafuna kawambi una plani kujiua. Hama tu nitoroke ndio, at least nisipatikana na hiyo kitu. So hakanyambiwa kani kuliko ujiue na saa hii siyati uko mkubwa sana. Nita kupeleka tu kwa my sister, mm-hmm. wende ukai uko. So nikaona father hamefanya kitu mzuri sana kunia, at least ya mentua from that environment. So tukaenda in the next town, na hitu wankubu. Nikaenda kwa sister haki ya na hitu wa Jane Kelly. Haka e, nichukua mbaithe kama mtoto haki hiyo ikuwa by then to i think to 2004 mm-hmm. na liko na miaka ngapi time i was 11 years old okay. so nikaenda kwake bado nilikuwa tu young mtoto tu bado nilikuwa na utoto wangu lakini ningechunga tu mtoto sababu wale wengine wako nyuma yangu nilikuwa bado na wachunga so nikaenda nikakaa kwake nikakaa na mtoto wake tukakaa some years so venye tu msichana anatokanga kuendea maziwa venye mama madundi kunyonyesha mtoto ndio nilitoka tu kwa ngiti hapo compound ya hospitali tulikuwa tunakaa quarters sasa nikitoka ndio nilipatana na gari kuna another priest alikuanga mm-hmm. huko parish yetu mtuate lakini sasa akaondoka akaenda akakuwa vika general wa mdogo wa scoff mm-hmm. ndio ndio sisi sanaitwa father basilio jagi so tukapatana na yeye eh, kikuwa tamini nimepata shock father sijamuona for long hata yeye akashtuka kuniona huko. Mm-hmm. Hey, ulifika mpaka nkuboa jijini. Yeye hey, ndio nikamnaridhia what happened. Sasa kaniambia sahi ni kufanyie nini? Unajua mimi nilienda nikakuwa sam dog wa scope. Unajua alikuwa ananiacha tu kwa Sunday school na imba sam simini. Mm-hmm. So alikuwa ananijua vizuri. For those of you who have been following us for a while, you know how I feel about growth and self-motivation. You always need to seize the opportunity and learn beyond your current capabilities. Even when you look at some of our previous guests at Inspire Kenya, whether we are talking about Njiru Mkombozi, the man who has built an entire city, or Dan, the guy who scored a D- minus, was employed, bought the business from the employer, and is now operating seven businesses, you can tell the all built this these businesses from scratch and they are making a living from it and they are incredibly, incredibly driven individuals. And that's why when Wingo Digital Training offered to sponsor this episode, it was so easy to say yes to this partnership. Their online coaching programs offer a way to learn skills that will help you earn online while working from home, which is really valuable, especially given these times. You can either earn a full-time income or an extra income to complement your salary. You know guys, it always pays to invest in yourself and Wingo's premium training offers you four incredible high quality courses that is professional article writing, data entry, transcription plus captioning and affiliate marketing and SEO training. Their courses are designed to fully equip you with the skills you need to consistently make money online and they are tailor-made to fit the Kenyan market. And now, if you want to learn more about Wingo Digital Training and making money online, sign up to their free webinar training. The links are in the description. Please enroll and start your journey to successfully making money online. Bye! So haniambia sasa unataka nikusaidia aje nikamwambia fadha ningetaka tu nirudisha shule nisome. Haya alishtuka alisema utasoma kweli. Najua wasichana mimi huko si wengi sana wananii masomo kuipeleka hivyo but mimi kakuwa ananiambia ama nikufungulie kabiashara ufanye. Haya nikamwambia biashara na hii enje fadha sitaweza I want just to go back to school. Yeah. Haniambia promise me. Hauta ni disappoint nikamwambia I will never na nitapitia bidii kabisa na nitapita kaniambia mm-hmm. sawa turudi sasa pale inakaa ndio niongea na huyo mama so tukarudi tukaongea naye akatupikia chai tukakunywa fadha hamuelezea venye nimemuomba na huyo mama by the way very 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 positive yeah hakupinga sawa so, pia ange, angeona venye ningerudi shule mm-hmm. alishimikia my mother also sasa mm-hmm. ina mjanga tu mama wow 
sasa venye alikubali sasa nitoke kwake na niende shule so after school ningeenda tu kwake so nikikuja during the holiday anakuwa tu na wasichana wawili kwa nyumba maybe hizo after three days na kaa tu kwake nikirundi mm-hmm. ka pocket money ananitafutia at least sikusumbua fadha sana so nikarundi shule inaitwa St Charles Luanga mhm iko chuka daraka nyingi kaunti so nikarundi pale in class 6 I did the interview na nikapita vizuri. So nikaendelea. That time kwa I think nilikuwa nimefika 14 years. Mm-hmm. So I'm in class 6 na watoto watoto tu hivi naelewa. So nikaingia tu nikasoma, nikamaliza class 8 to 8 na nikapita vizuri. So kuna shule iko next to hapo inaitwa Mudhabi Girls. Mm-hmm. Hapo ndio nilijoy. Bado nikaendelea tu na hiyo hali ya maisha tu ya kwenda hivyo father anaendelea tu kunitolea school fees hivyo. So when nilifika 2010 fadha kaanza ku kunyii kuishiwa tu kiasi na pesa. Sasa alikuwa anasomesha pia kasenzu wake, watu wake okay. wanamtegemea pia. Aha. Uh-huh. Na pia wao siate wako na pesa vile. So binyo mfukuzia school fees sasa utaenda wapi na hakuna place nikarudi tu nyumbani sasa. Mm. Nikarudi sio nyumbani nikarudi kwa yule mama tu. Nikakaa kwake sasa nikirudi at least after 3 months akanipia kwa kitu. Sasa mm-hmm. I think 3000 hivi. Nikarudi shule. Yaani nikamwambia principal ndio nimepata sasa ile kitu nataka tu principal nikamuelezea anaitwa madam Kagweria ah ni Kagweria tulikuwa tunamuita Mrs Baya mm-hmm. so namwambia tu anisaidie at least niweze kumaliza form 4 mm-hmm. nikamnaritia story yangu pale ninatoka zile vitu zina happen kwa nyumba so akanihurumia tu hivyo so from there sikufukuza school fees tena so na 2012 nikamaliza shule mm-hmm. so tani mamaliza shule sababu nikumbuka hiyo ndani time ilikuwa ya form 2 siku nimesoma the set books but nikangangana tu sasa ikakuwa hata shopping imekuwa ngumu sasa mm-hmm. but principal na huyo manda mwangaenda Mrs Jabani kwa oh, akuwa tu ananichangia changia kutoka kwa wanafunzi wengine at least napata zile the basic so nikamaliza form 4 nikapata C- minus wow na nikatoka sasa singerundi nyumbani bando sasa wenye nilienda missing my parents walibaki sasa waki wameshtuka kunitafuta So hiyo process ya circumcision yote ikaishia hapo. My sister sasa wako andango. Mm-hmm. Sababu sasa alikuwa ward. Nikaambia my sister huyu mwingine pia watatoroka. So hakuna mwenye alianda ngo ya kijeni. Mm-hmm. Na wakati ulitoroka walijua mali ulienda. Hawakujua but sasa wanakuja kujua after nimamaliza form 4. Hiyo ndio wakati nilitafuta ni, 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 ni simu. Mm-hmm. Nikatafuta mwenye ako next ni ni neighbor. Nikapigia yule father ndio nikamwambia pale niko. So nikaongea na wao at least waka cool down. So mimi nikakaa tu huko siku rundi. So from there after form 4 so nikarudi tu kwa yule mama mwenye alikuwa ameniajiri tu ya kwanza need so andam jeni akanichukulia tu tena nikaenda kwake anafukuza msichana anakaa na mimi so tukakaa ah hata nikaanza sasa nikasema sababu sasa hii ananilipa kidogo at least naweza kuwa nafanya computer class so kuwa huyo process ya kufanya computer class nikaanza tu ya kwanza hii packages So siku moja nikirudisha sasa zile nguo tulikuwa tuna nini na vitabu zenye nguo nasoma nazo nafaa kurudisha kwa ufadha ndio mm-hmm. apewe wenye wako nyuma yako. So nika nika ni siku moja nikamwambia nitaenda town. So ndio nilienda town. Nikienda afta sasa kutoka kwa fadha kumuelezea kumerundishia hizo manguo na vitabu na zile mablanket. So nikirudi ndio nilifika tu town hapo Meru. Mm-hmm. Nikapata kuna some groups yani vijana vijana tu wamejiu kuzanyika kuzanyika hapo nikaulizia ni nini naendelea so akaniambia walikuwa wameitwa na wanangojea kufanyishwa interview ndio wanjoin security company eh nikauliza requirement ni nini wakasema ni ID na application letter hakuna kitu kingine mm-hmm. nikaenda hapo next nikanunua full scarf nikaandika application mm-hmm. sasa sikuwa na ID sasa tumfanya interview tulikuwa watu wengi sana by the way so walikuwa na ID tuone the lenders na 20 gentlemen So after the interview tukapangwa na groups. So nikakuwa nimepangwa group A. So kumbe nimepita interview na siku anajua. So akasema the three lenders wenye wako hapa Jane na another lady na mwingine anaitwa Caroline tumechukuliwa. Wakuje kwa ofisi. Sasa unajua bando kwa yule bali nilikuwa nakaa kwake bando nafaa niendee mtoto jioni. Sasa wakasema tatulipa 4500. Ai. Mimi nikapigia father nikamwambia nimepata kazi nalipa 4500 na huko kwingine walipa ngapi? 2500. Sasa aniambia kuna addition ya 2k. So fanya hivi wewe mpie simu mwambie kuna pale kwingine umepa. 
sasa nikampigia simu of course atajam sababu sasa yako job yeah. na mtoto anafanya ni mchuku nini mchukue mm-hmm. na nishughulikie mtoto ina nilipikie vifaa kuje nikamweleza asione nikirudi leo sababu kuna kazi nyingine nimepata akasema ni sawa so ataji prepare mapema achukue mtoto so mimi tukaenda sasa tukaambiwa mtu ajitafutie pa kulala hapo sasa mimi sina hata shilingi sasa nilikuwa nibakisha tu 100 ya kurundi huko nikua ikakuwa sasa ni sasa nitafikia nita nani father amesema ana pesa hata nimetoka kwa gaja hata lunch ile ni mbaye isikuwa kuna pesa so nikasema nitafikia nani kwa simu but mzuri nilikuwa nimeandika tu kanoti na niko na namba ya principal huyo madhambi gaus nikampigia eh nikamwambia mama hivi you are the only mother Eh, please tumeambiwa hivi na hivi na nimepita interview kwa hii company na kuna training tunafanya so tunaambiwa tutajitafutia pale atalala na mimi sina hata ndugu sasa hiyo hata nguo niko tuna zenye kwa nimevaa principal alifanya hivi akanitumia 1500 hey, nikamwambia Mungu asante hiyo 1500 ya principal tulikuwa na wao wengine bado walikuwa wametoka Meru wenye walikuwa kwa hiyo interview so tunaongea lugha moja tunaeleana na pia wenyewe wako desperate tukami Sio fitana nikawaambia tufanyeni hivi twende tutafute tu kanyumba. Sisi na huyo msichana au wasichana wawili na mimi na the gentleman sasa. Tukaenda tukapata kanyumba fulani hapo, tukalipia pesa kidogo. So tukaambia tutakuwa tunalala tu chini. Twende tutafute makato, nitakuja tunatandika chini tunalala. So nitakuwa tutakuwa brothers and sisters. Mwenye hata mimi simbiefu nje. Sasa mimi ndio nawaambia sababu mimi ndio nadipia mpaka nyumba. Tukanunua kajiko, sahani nini kidogo kidogo tu. Sio kwa kwetu natoka hapo juu hapo Meru town tunateremka kando ground. Tunateremka huko chini. Tunafanya practice practice mpaka jioni tunarudi. Kesha yake hivyo tukamaliza practice. So vile tulimaliza tukaqualify. Kuna wengine walitokea katikati lakini mimi nikavumilia. Hawa sasa wengine mmoja alitoka akabaki wawili. Mm-hmm. So tukavumilia mpaka tuka tuka graduate hiyo nini tu nini mambo ya training tukapewa uniform. So hapo ndio nilipata sent sent naitwa uh, Saint Teresa Mission Hospital Kirua. Mm-hmm. Ndio nikapelekwa kazi hapo kama security sasa wa Ita City. Yeah. So vile nilipelekwa hapo tukakaa ikakuwa nimekaa ni miezi kama ine hivi hapo Saint Saint Teresa. Nika nikasprint pakani pia simu. Huyo wa secondary mwenye alikuwa amenipa 5000. Hamisa yukoaje, umemaliza nikamwelezea. Akaniambia sasa kuna kazi nyingine imepatikana Nairobi nataka uwe ndio ufanye at least wanalipa 1000. Ah nikaona hiyo ni pesa mingi sana. Mm-hmm. So akaniambia basi itabidi umedesign kazi ya security alafu uende ufanyie huko kwa vice chancellor. Mrs. Lea Marangu. Niende kwake nikamchungie mtoto wa kijana yake. Mm-hmm. Ah principal akaniambia mimi ndio nitakupeleka usijali mambo ya transport nitakukujia hadi kujia na tukaenda kakaa kwake mpaka sasa ikakuwa kijana yake anataka ku travel na mtoto wake sasa abroad. Mhm. Sasa si job sasa itaisha tu hapo sababu sasa nisisilia marango ana mtoto mwingine. Sasa hakuna kitu kingine kazi yangu sasa inaisha. Tuka kuwa nirudi nyumbani. Sasa kufika hapo ndio nirudi nyumbani sasa. Nikarudi nyumbani nikapata vile nyenye huko vile kuli haribika haribika manyumba zingine zimebomoka. Mzee yeah. ame, ameuza hata shamba huko hakuna kitu kimebakia. Sasa hiyo pesa nilikuwa nimesave save hiyo 10k kidogo kidogo. Nikaenda at least nikajenga kanyumba. Nikawajengea, nikawainilia ingine kidogo. Tukakaa kala sasa nikarudi saa kutafuta job tena. So nikirudi kwa interest tena wangu ni kubali sababu nilikuwa nimeresign. So nikapatana na kampuni ngine inaitwa Metro Max mm-hmm. kwa nichukua. Nikakuja sasa kedu sana wakati wanita wanita kazi wakasema kazi yangu customer care ilikuwa anga sawa nataka nirudi huko sister aniajiri so aniajiri kama security wa hospitali mm-hmm. nikafanya huko nikajoin nurses si wakifanya BLS basic life support nikafanya na nikapita mtiani nikapata certificate sasa mm-hmm. so ndiko anga na interest ya kukaa na wagonjwa sana nikienda kwa ward around naenda na saidia wanyawezi kujisaidia wa surgical ward kuwapea bandi pan So nikakuwa na hiyo motisha ya kutaka at least naweza kufanya something. Na size of any security. Size ni security. So hapo ndio kulikuwa na mama mwingine wa sister, sister anaitwa sister Ella Makena, alikuwa ametoka huko nye, huko Nyeri. So tukajuana na yeye tu akiwa anakuja hapo Ngeti. Akanipea namba yake alafu mama yake nitakuwa naenda ku visit na ku sababu yake atarudi. So nikaendelea kuchunga huyo mama wa sister mpaka siku aliaga. Mhm. Sasa ikafika 2017 ndio huko kiedwa sasa sister akasema yeye hata ataki security wake anataka kuajiri company so mwenye anataka kujoin hiyo company 
watakuwa wamechukuliwa ni hiyo kampani alafu wengine mwenye hataki mtu atakuta kazi kwingine sasa kazi na katika sasa kazi kazi imeishia hapo sasa ikiisha sasa tena utaenda wapi kuna mtoto ako shule nyumbani unajua venye udiacha bando wewe utegemea lao sasa hiyo e, mshahara alikuwa anapata hapo na gawanyisha na mtoto nini na mtoto wangu bando alikuwa na shule ya Clarkwood so ni like clinic every dust day every dust so mtu wa kwanza kufikiria ni hiyo sister Hela Makena nikamwambia kazi inaisha sababu so, kuna hiyo redundancy tunatolewa kiirua so mimi sijui pale nitaenda na mtoto sister haniambia documents zako siko nazo DLS ulikuwa umefanya nitumie hizo documents zako sikuja na Maryland mpaka Nyeri so nikamtumia sikaenda Nyeri nikakaka nikaambiwa nikaona message kwa simu eh akindosis of Nyeri wananiita interview security company mm-hmm. so nika travel hiyo tarehe mbili nikaenda nikafanya interview wakanichukua so hapo nilijipata Nyeri titi So I went to Sabo kwa nataka mwenye atakao kwa hospitali. Sasa hiyo interview tulifanya ilikuwa tu ya hospitali na nikapita so nikaekwa kwa gate ya hospitali mm-hmm. in the patient gate. So nikakaa hapo watu wakiingia na wakaribisha wagonjwa naenda kwa ward round na wapea nini at least ali wenye wataishi na comfort wenye wamefiwa na wapeleka mochari. Sasa nikakuwa nimefanya hata counseling sasa mpaka mm-hmm. kwa wagonjwa. So nikakuwa interested tu nafanya hata department ya OPD paka sasa wakati covid imekuja. So covid ikikuja sisi hatuko na hiyo awareness about covid. Na wewe ndio uko pale na unaambiwa dhamu gani ndio hiyo utapima. So itabidi sasa mpaka njikakamua sasa. Hata ujui nini? Ujui nini hata inafanyika. Mm-hmm. So kuna college hapo madhari na sister sister Leonela Medical College. Sister sasa vinya alianzisha hii course ya preparative data technologist. Yeah. Mimi nikaona anaweza fanya kitu sababu sasa sisi ameniambia requirement ni C minus na mimi nilipata C minus. Nimefanya MBLS. Bado sitaji sitaji kuwa kwa gate na hitaji at least nilikuwa ndani kwa wagonjwa. Unaona potential. Naona tu mimi mwenyewe nasikia niko na hiyo call ya kusave the patient. So nikaenda nika nika nini nika nika kwa ngizi hiyo sister. Akaniambia utapata hiyo pesa. Hiyo pesa ni mingi. Nikamwambia najua sina lakini najua nitapata. Wewe ni rusu bora tu niingie class akaniambia akaniambia analeta 1000. Sasa nakumbuka kadu nikifuliza, nikafuliza 1000. Nikaenda nikalipa, akanipa application letter, nikaandika na akanichukua. So nikaanza classes. School fees ilikuwa ngapi? Ilikuwa ngapi around 1000. Ha, eh so mimi nikafanya part time mm-hmm. yangu ingekuja 150. Oh, okay. So from there pesa hata sina sasa nikamwambia after every month nitakuwa namlipa 10000. 10,000 mwenye hata hiyo ya security ifikange then hiyo 10,000 after deductions mtoto uko naye na kushule yeah. na kula nalipa nyumba hiyo mahitaji yote 10,000 litatokanga wapi after after month but nikamconvince nikamwambia sister fanya nitafanya igezeka navi nitapataka 10,000 every month unaona yeah. after 2 years nitakuwa nimemaliza sister haliwezi kweli lakini akaniambia kitu moja tani promise kama utapita mtihani sisi kuje kukaa na failure si hapa na najua una tapata nafasi na ya kusoma au utapata nafasi ya kuingia classes. Mimi nikamwambia no problem. Mm-hmm. So walimu si tunajuana tu hapo wanapitaka kwa ngeti wananipita. Nikawapea namba yangu wananitumia notes kwa simu. So ninatumia notes kwa simu mimi usiku ninasoma. Usiku likifika saa tukitoka 6, sababu ya security tunaingia 6. Asubuhi utatokea tena 6. So unakimbia kwa nyumba haraka na harakisha napikia mtoto mimi na change narudi class mpaka mm-hmm. saa 5 usiku naacha mtoto amelala so nitarudi kwa nyumba sana saa tano na mimi sasa nakula na lala saa tisa tena nimeamka kusoma from there ikakuwa sasa ni day and night so ikakuwa sasa unajua ni mambo ya vita sasa nimeingia kufanya practicals ndio mingi lazima ukue kwa hiyo vita uku umezoea na umejua hizo instrument hiyo mtihani tu itakuja mm-hmm. so mtihani ya kwanza kufanya the first semester i passed so sista hakuwa at least anaona ninafanya bd oh student wengine nikipata wamefunza during the day nikienda night tunafanya prep para nisaidia ku discuss so, mchana uko pale kwa gate eh niko kwa gate haya kifika jioni unakimbia class nakimbia class kutoka saa mbili hata nimepikia mtoi na muacha kwa nyumba mimi nakimbia wow. class na kuingia na kuja mm-hmm. so during the day ni security guard at night ni student So nikaongea na hospitali ya Madhari Consolata Madhari wakanisaidia at least hiyo niweze ku assess vita. So nikiandikwa barua mpaka na admin wakanikubali. Sababu so, anajua bado ninasoma na shule wakanikubali sasa mimi practice kwa zangu nifanyange usiku. So ni wanaandika namba yangu usiku wakipata hii ni emergency naitwa sababu nilikuwa naishi tu hivi. So nakuja nafanya. Mimi wakati mwingine nitafanya mpaka 
niende ni ni niende nioge na nirudi kazi by 6 nilikuwa nimeripoa saidia za kile so i think hiyo muda nilikuwa anga tight kabisa sikuweza hata nini kulala sikulala but it's cause nilikuwa najua nilikuwa na determination nilikuwa najua what i'm aiming at siku moja ikifika nitaweza kulala lakini for that time hata chini strain so from there najua kanyumba huko mtu amekaa tu kanyumba yake akana ine vingi kwa twivo machi stima kuna paka mtoto amesahau mambo ya tv nini anakaa kuuliza tu mama kwanza sisi tutakuwa tuna watch na mwambie tu tulia baba siku moja tutakuja kupata so hiyo hadi sasa covid sasa imekuja ndio nilikuja sasa nikajua sasa hapa tumepewa madhamu gani lakini mimi niko na knowledge kwa class but hasa soja wengine hawajui unapata communicate na mgonjwa wa covid akikuja mtu wa kwanza kupatana na yeye security guard soja pale kwa gate pale kwa gate so hata kama atakuwa nayo before afikie the admin mimi nitakuwa nimekufa so wenyewe walikuja round wakisema nini amref mm-hmm. wakasema nataka kuendekeza the nyeri county so huyo dr miranda akambiwa select watu yani sasa wenye wanafanya hospitali haikuanga sana at the security department so mimi nikaeleza dr miranda at least akani aga niandika walikuwa na train health workers health workers okay. wa hospitali sasa wa nyeri county wote by the way mm-hmm. so kulikuwa na health workers nyeri county asao so mimi nikanjirejesta hapo dr miranda kaniweka hapo so mimi nikaingia class ya ya nini ya health workers training ya covid <laughs> so tukaambiwa the first day so unaandika jina yako title eh, id for number alafu unaweka signature so wengine wameandika nurses wengine ni support staff wengine ni patient attendants oh my god so mimi nikafikiwa ah sasa kwa title nitaandika nini of course nikaandika security guard so hiyo ndio ideas nini issues na kuna wakati uliko na feel like ah acha naweza andika kitu kingine sasa hata naona kama niandike kama nurse wengine huko nyuma wanakusukuma wana sasa utaandika andika nurse lakini nasema hapana acha nikuwe tu mwenye niko sababu sasa maswali ya nurse ikianza kukuja na sijui nitajibu exactly. nini mm-hmm. acha tu niseme huwa yao mm-hmm. nikakuwa tu i'm proud of my work sababu hapo sindo napata unga acha tu niandike security hata security card ni mtu sasa mimi nikaandika tu hivyo so ikaenda hiyo mkubwa ni wa Amref ni alikuwa ameorganize hiyo ni Mr. Joram akapata hiyo karatasi so hauliza the match of the day ni aje imekuwa security ngandi yako kwa hii training na trainiwa na health workers na how, nurses au au comes this is the what is my this is a waste of of uh, Amref this is a waste of resources for Amref Amref walikuwa wamekuja specific to train the health workers mm-hmm. and right now we have a security guard in our meeting tikanta hapa so utolewe hiyo security gato atolewe nje nitafutia ndio waka mwingine so sister sister Jerusha alikuwa anga na waka ya kuniambia sababu tulikuwa tunajua na tu appreciate tu anajua mimi napanganga watu huko nini tuko friends mm-hmm. so akaogopa kuniambia na anajua bidii yangu na anajua bidii yangu so anajua siku ya kwanza vile nimeshinda tu nikijibu maswali mambo ya graphing mm-hmm. mambo ya gauni eh na wakati huo mtu kwani amejua maneno aje na bado ni security So Mr. Jonathan alikuwa ananiambia baadaye sasa. So the following day Jonathan akasema mwenyewe lazima niite huyo msichana akuje hapa huyo security simtaki kwa hii. Si nikaita sana nenda kuface Mr. Jonathan. Nikamwelezea alafu akaniambia give me your background. So nikamwambia part of being a security guard. I'm also a student in this college. Yeah. I'm pursuing my course, certificate course in variable data technologies. So soon I'll be in health work now. Ayo akaniambia wonderful now stroke what you have said so <laughs> nika stroke uh-huh. at least nikajua nimeokolewa sasa mahaniambia mambo kuna hiyo mambo ya allowance ya 2000 si sijui kama utapata allowance sababu sasa sijui sababu ikienda mbele sijui itakuwa je mimi nikamwambia i'm not interested in the money my interest was just to get that knowledge so that i can able to protect myself i protect the patient who are coming i protect even my family likitoka nijue covid ni ingilia zaidi gani ya dunia ya mwili mm-hmm. so akaona niko interested so akaniambia niendelee so from there si nikafanya hiyo amre hapo sasa ndio tukajuana na amre sasa ndio walikuja siku nyingine sasa kunitafuta wakaniambia vinyo wamependeka hiyo karatasi kuna mwenye hiyo amre mkubwa aliona jina yangu na amewatuma wakuje wani wani waniongeleshe so ndio walikuja Eh hey, bando wakikuja wanatafuta nje nikakuiti kubwa sana mimi nikatense na nikaona sasa Amref na ndio walikuwa wamenitoa kwa class sasa ndio hawa tena. So no, wako pale tu kwa tu kwa gate tu bando. Mm-hmm. So hakuja kanielezea. Sasa unajua vinyo nilipata hiyo nini knowledge sasa kutoka hiyo class. By the way sikukaa nayo ati nimelalia nilianza kufunza mpaka staff. 
mpaka wenye wako wameenda hiyo training oh really yeah mpaka outpatient patient wenye wanaingia wote nikakuwa asubuhi tunaenda tunaomba na make sure wako na social distance mask wamevaa wame sanitize ungeingia kwa ngeti ungenipata hata guo staff hata guo na ungeingia kama uja sanitize na kama una mask no so nikajua hiyo at least nikafunza mpaka wa mama MCA nikakuwa huko mpaka wa mama wengine wananipigia simu yenye kunaendelea huko mm-hmm. so ikakuwa mpaka wakati hiyo vaccination nimekuja bado nime nafunza mpaka nini au patient wanakuja kuna mtu inform yako ni amre for kwa mshani pia mpaka jacket na makofia sasa unajua mimi nimekuja tukaongea wakaona sasa ni more important kwao nitasaidia hiyo message kufikia hata mashinani so penye wamenipea hizo ni zote na mpaka sanitizer as mask nikapewa mingi so mwenye akikuja wasika maana mask na mpea so anaona at least huyu mtu kuna kitu anajua so nikiwapea health talk hata wagonjwa wa nini wa diabetics wengine kuna kuanga na clinics in difference every day so wanakuja na waelezea na wa, na wa guide ikakuwa sasa ni mtindo wangu sasa so mpaka hospitali wenyewe wakaanza kuona njini anafanya kazi wapi pale sasa ikakuwa hakuna mwenye wenye imekuja ikakuwa cancel sasa mwenye anaingia ku visit mgonjwa ni mtu mmoja mm-hmm. na kitambo si walikuwa wanakuja wengi so nikiwa kwa ngeti pale ni make sure au relative wame, wame understand that there is no need to watu waingie kwa wondi wengi na hiyo si kazi rahisi si kazi rahisi sasa ndio wako ni visa kabisa wazikusumbue hapo kwa ngeti sababu yes. wengine wanakupea mpaka pesa nataka niingie lakini sasa sio pesa sana na wewe mwenyewe unajua kuna mimi patient aliandimitwa kwa covid au wengine wakiingia bado watapata mm-hmm. na after nimemaliza shule sasa singeacha hati kazi ya security sababu so, bado hapo ndio napata mpaka school fees hapo ndio napata mpaka chakula So nikaendelea tu nikiwa security but usiku niko surgeon assistant. Ulikuwa unalala saa ngapi nje? Sasa kulala ndio sijalala. <laughs> Baka wakati mwingine nasikia kabisa umekuwa umekuwa fed up. Sasa unashindwa mpaka kutembea lakini unasikia usingizi kwa mbali but unajikakamua tu ukae tu alert. Sababu sasa ukilala kwa kazi usiku mchana ukilala kwa ngeti utalala aje. Mm-hmm. Na umeshinda the whole day umesimama watu wanasumbuana tu na watu mnaelezea. Unashinda tu na watu unakaa tu busy. So nikaona tu the nini ile kitu naniweka moving ni mind desire who i want to be in future so, sasa nakumbuka maisha yangu pale nimetoka vinye nimekuelezea na pale nimefika so nilikuwa na at, at least nipate hiyo hiyo chance nimalize hiyo masomo mtoto wangu ndiye aweze kusoma vizuri asipitie shinda nilipitia nyuma wazazi wangu sawa wamezeeka mzee unaona aliuza kila kitu right now ya homeless so bando nangana na hiyo ndio niona at least nimerundi huko nyumbani nikamimbi nikawa nini kapata kashamba nikawajengea wakarundi actually niko nao nyeri nimewarentishia huko sasa hii huko nyumbani hakuna nyumbani hakuna so sababu naona my sisters wengine hakuna mwenye alipita class hii wote wakadioleka tu hivyo so mimi sasa nikakuwa ndio ni najitanga tu backbone ya familia yes na mtoto wangu unaona bando niko tu single mother sasa so Naona maisha vinyi ni challenge sasa hapo hakuna hata usingizi unakaa ukifikiria kesho yake itakuwa aje na hiyo kesho yake ikuwe better than yesterday so my past iko ina ni block sana was i am focusing with even now because i'm planning kuendelea na masomo bando sijamaliza mm-hmm. hii ni kionjo tu Nime, nimeanzia hiyo na najua one day one time i'll be there like an ambassador amen for the voiceless mm-hmm. when you have a voice Lindis na mama unajua wakati mwingine mama ukifikia pale maybe umezaa watoto inakuwa tu maisha yako imefika mwisho. Mwingine amepitia kama challenges nimepitia lakini sasa naona maisha imefika mwisho wengine wananjinyonga kama juts. But naona siku moja at least nimekuja ku open hata ka organization kama haka. Nimeweka tu wa mama wanyo desperate kama mimi yes. at least wameweza at least kutoka from one step to another. Mtu anaweza. Sure so yes. that's my prayer so far na naendelea so mpaka wakati imefika sasa after hiyo covid mm-hmm. shule tumemaliza la ni this year to april so nikaona tu bando nitafuta tafuta pale nitapata sasa nitoke kwa gate sababu sasa nikikaa kwa gate na nikifanya nyingine usiku my knowledge bando sitakuwa nimepata hiyo experience for mm-hmm. so ndio nimetafuta tu job nikakuja na huku na akuru mm-hmm. longa hii sister mazondo hospital pale sasa ndio mtale nichukua mm-hmm. na sasa sasa nafanya kama data assistant so at least i feel yani nilisomea sasa nimepotea sana mtoto wangu akiniona na dust coat ya white anajua daktari mamu amekuja so mpaka yeye amepata motisha kusema yeye anataka kuwa daktari pia yeye so unaona hapo nina encourage 
so nimekuwa kuwa hapa tu hivi kwa those three months na na plan Mungu at least anifungulia milango ndio at least nipate hospitali mimi unaona sasa hapa hakuna kuna hakuna NHF hawaja approve mm-hmm. so patient wa hapa inakuwa ngumu sana ku and go the procedures sababu ni cash mm-hmm. then ukiangalia rongai mpaka na huko Moricho mpaka huko Sobea kurundi hivi mpaka ufike nini na kuru kuna wagonjwa wengi sana wako hapa kutoka huko Kimango sio huko kuingine Burugei ukiangalia wanakuja hapa watu wa saliga wote wako hapa unapata sana mama mama mapata emergency amna kitu ya kumfanyia mm-hmm. but sister anakuanga very genuine at least unaona tu anaenda laws lakini tunasaidia majority anasaidia tu mm-hmm. basi sasa NHF hii kitu ningesema tu kama kuna mtu atanisikia tu nikiongea kwa tuko leo kama na kuru county at least wanaangalia ka facility kenya kako mimi kako i center sasa kama hii sasa sister ya masister sister mazond hospital hii it's a big facility sababu iko na everything iko na doctors iko na iko na nurses iko na yani iko na facility iko na kila kitu but sasa backup ya NHF sababu so, NHF ni national fund inafaa at least kusaidia mwananchi wa kawaida mm-hmm. at least akikuja pale aseme anaenda kufanyiwa CS mama asiingie mfuko mm-hmm. anafanyiwa NHF na msimamia tutakuwa tumeinuana both sides na kuru county at least takuwa imekuwa njoo sababu sasa sasa hivi tunapata tu mimi cases moja mbili wengine wanashindwa kulipa sasa so, ukiona hiyo barabara ya kwenda mpaka na kuru hiyo ya Maturela nimekuwa kuna wakati nimepeleka patient si siku moja mbili kuwapeleka rifaro unaona hata mwenye patient anataka kufia kwa barabara sababu una mko na Maturela mko na mimi ni taxi ya mna ambulance mm-hmm. kumikimbiza mpaka huko mpaka unaambia Mungu at least tufungua tu mtu mmoja ni chef tu akumbuke wafanyie hiyo facility something mm-hmm. wa approve tu ndio at least patient waweze kupata good services mm-hmm. so that can able to serve the people of God well ukweli okay, kabisa na mm-hmm. zin mm-hmm. uko na advice gani mm-hmm. kwa wakenya because kuna wale watu ambao wanadharau kazi yao wanaona ako chini kuna mwingine ako juu yake mm-hmm. ungeambia nini mtu kama huyo mimi ningeambia wakenya hata sio Kenya peke yake mm-hmm. since right now I've received the award global award Maureen Wahamref mm-hmm. alinipigia simu aniambia Jane I want to pray for something very serious nikiwa tu hapa mazodi nikamuliza nini haniambia i'm nominating you for a global award wow so nikamwambia it's a prayer sasa tutaiombea so tukakaa tukiomba mimi i just pray by then naombanga sana na venus is a catholic mm. naombanga sana vili utanipata ni menili naomba so tukaombea nikaombea hiyo kitu tarehe i think tarehe moja ndio alinipigia simu haniambia jeni you know what you have won ai mimi nilisikia kama naweza ingia ndani ya shimo nikae huko nikamwambia mimi sasa ingawa nitakuwa nalijiuliza sasa global award unajua ina uko na watu wengi sana lakini sasa mimi ni nani jeni tu akuje ku akaniambia just pray for it na mimi nikachukulia hizo wali zake nikasema let pray mm-hmm. so when alinipigia simu na nime win i felt very amazing na nikafurahia sana so ikakuwa niende consolata hospital bali nilianzia because my my journey started at consolata hospital madhari mm-hmm. na wali, wali ni support by the other staff so what are you kusoma singe soma kama sina at least the good environment okay so nikarudi pale tukafanya zoom meetings hapo sasa ilikuwa tuende london singe ena sababu ya covid so tulifanya zoom na on ilikuwa fifth nikafanya zoom tukaongea na huyu president the former president of Liberia eh bana si uko mbele <laughs> tukaongea na yeye akatu encourage na by the way akatuambia kama mimi niliongea na yeye sasa talk yake na mimi tuliongea na akanipea moyo akaniambia never give up on whatever you are doing the step you have started making continue with them unaona mtu kama wanakupea nguvu hata kama hajatoa pesa kwa kupea but at least anaongea positive about your life plus your recognition si kila mtu anapata si kila mtu so nilienda pale but sasa ilikuwa ni trophy na certificate so i think i'll be receiving them next week congratulations Jim. thank you so as jafika bando bado na ngoje ngawa tu watu wanakupigia simu hapa na pale oh mimi umepata pesa no lakini bando ni najua tu siku moja nitakuwa tu mwenye nataka nikue sababu the more unataka the more utakuwa tu mimi i think i'm from zero ama from grass to grace hiyo ndio naambia mungu ningeambia mtu yote pale huko As long as kama nikibadua naenda ya asubuhi njioni unarudi kwa nyumba yako you are not sick health fast you are not sick you are able to do one, two, three. usaidie familia yako hiyo kazi unafanya kabisa ishikilie pale huko 
hata kama unapata 50 bob hata kama ni watu wa nduzi hata kama ni nani hata kama ni mint kwenye unafanyia wengine wakuwa nini wakuwa kwa nyumba za watu yeah. don't see the raw it's a stepping stone you can use the little money you are getting to, to end to utilize it to become big mm-hmm. so mimi naona mimi nikitumia 1500 yangu nilitumia vizuri ye yeah, kidogo unapata unajua itaifanyia nini next yes uwezi kukaa tu hapo basi usikae hapo pale uko in your comfort zone no you cannot get success in your comfort zone success is something you start yani unakuwa na persistence ya hiyo kitu na unakuwa sasa mwenyewe wa give up never give up in whatever you have hata youth majority hata hapa ni hapa nini hapa rongai nimekuwa nikigaint niki na nikuwa kanso yeah. so nigeambia tu yote ananisikiza kwa tuko sasa please don't don't there are what you are doing it doesn't matter who you are and where you come from usiangalie past angalia pale umefika sasa hivi mm-hmm. na tukimalizia mm. i don't know kama uta mind ku uh, maybe watu wanaweza kupata pale facebook ama maybe if you don't mind sharing your number if you do ni sawa tu si lazima upeane sasa hivi by the way nafikiria kufungua inaitwa aje eh si ubi mhm nataka kufungua ka channel yangu hivi mm-hmm. the at least watu wengi wananipata pale na tunakuwa na watu wengi mimi naweza waongelesha through ni wajue na nianza kuwapea hiyo motisha mimi niwaambie my life is approved that dreams comes true usikuje kusema ati wakati uko mtoto nataka kuwa mwalimu ukuje kufikia pale uone kama hiyo kitu yesi kui inaweza kuwa sababu mimi nilikuwa mtoto kabisa nilikuwa na long kuwa daktari sasa hii am working the facility yeah. i'm serving the people i'm serving the patient mm-hmm. yenye nimekuwa ni long for long sasa imekuja kuwa true so nikaona it's at it's a proof kwa hata kama si oh what kenyans globally it's a proof that you can be whatever you are be wishing to be mm-hmm. as long as you have the determination and desire mm-hmm. of what you are doing naweka mungu bele aya wanaweza so, kupata wapi namba yangu ni 07488115889 so wanaweza nipata tu mimi mtu anaweza ni whatsapp Mm-hmm. Facebook na hito tunje nikagwedia kubai. Mm-hmm. Tunapatana pale alafu ingine bado nikifungua. Center share na wewe ndio at least watu waanze kujua. No problem. Yeah, yeah tutashare nao pia because hapa nilisema tu kwa ni place tunashikilia na sisi wote. Yeah, sure, sure. And I really appreciate that you've taken that time kuongea na sisi tumekaa chini umeshare na your story and I know it's going to inspire people. Sure, sure. Yeah, and one thing like for me I can say one thing that I have learned with your situation is that usijitharau mali uko leo sure. yes because i remember when you said like you had the option ya kudanganyana mm-hmm. useme you're a nurse sure. but you opted to write security guard sure. and that's what made you stood out from the rest sure, sure. and ika, ika kupivot yeah. to where you are right now because sure. if you had said you're a nurse ungekuwa tu kama wengine wenye mwana sio yes i really appreciate you i thank you immensely for for welcoming us here director wetu shirondo yule pale amefanya kazi poa we really 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 want to thank you and the facility kwa kutukaribisha sio ndio yes, thank you so much and thank you very much and god bless you tuko na mungu apeleke mbali even your management for allowing you even from all oh, the way from nairobi to to longa i think you have spent Hakuna kitu nitawarudishia mimi but I promise my prayers to your department and to your the two core departments I want so to much. pray for you so that at least you can open people waki watch pale i think hata mimi na watching sometimes stories mm-hmm. inanipea moyo yeah. so it's my prayer that mwenye ataona tu yangu akuwe inspired to at least as he chukulie venye niko ati kama niko tajiri sana but get my wants dog dog don't think that what you are doing be serious be calm be positive whatever you do in this life and you are going to prosper thank you so thank much you. hello tuko family my name is anya pira thank you so much for your support and we have some amazing news for you we have a new channel that is specifically tailored to cater for all your entertainment needs Join me Lily Aisha on Tuko Extra as I take you through the hustle behind your favorite celebrities and so much more. Subscribe. Akiwala yo shatuju. Basi we kamkonoju.